Let's look at a couple of examples using inheritance. So let's say that we have a student class, and that student has an integer associate or sorry, an integer attribute called credits. So I also have a graduate student who has some different attribute values. So for graduate students, things that matter are whether or not they've passed their quals, whether or not they passed their prelims. So we can use inheritance like this to say that a graduate student is a student. So in this sense, we mean that any message that we could have sent to a student, a graduate student will also be able to receive. And anywhere we see a student in an interface or as part of a, of a class diagram that we could use a graduate student instead. So let's take the same student class we had before and relate it to the idea of a person. So a person, for example, has a last name, they have a birth date, they have an address. So we can say here that a student is a person. This means that any message that a person could receive, a student would be able to receive as well. And also that a student has a last name, has a birth date, has an address. All of those properties that belong to the person also belong to the student. So we can take this one step further and look at the concatenation of all three of these classes using inheritance, as we saw before. So inheritance works just like you'd expect. If a graduate student is a student, which we see from the inheritance from graduate student to student, and if a student is a person, then a graduate student is a person. So again, this works exactly like you would expect it to. So any message that a person can receive, a graduate student can also receive.